Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Okay, so today's video is about the best vanilla fragrances. So I have seven here on my list. Some of these I don't have, but I truly believe that these are the best fall vanilla fragrances. So if you're interested to know, please keep on watching. Okay, so the first best vanilla fragrances for fall is I believe Yves Saint Laurent Baby Cat. Now I don't have this perfume but I have tried it many times and it is in my wish list. The reason why I haven't bought it because it's hard to get and you have to buy it from Selfridge in London um, but I truly believe that this is the more popular 2022 fall vanilla fragrances. Now I'm going to put the perfume note here upon initial spray it's I could smell this ambery and leathery suede like it actually smells like the interior of a brand new car seat that has leather seating now it smells strongly of a car seat leather smell um, for about um, an hour or so and after that it becomes this subtle ambery leathery vanilla so it's really nice it is in my wish list um, I was going back and forth wanting to pick this up or not because um, I also smell a little bit of a rubberiness among with the suede scent but then there's a lot of vanilla in it too so I really don't mind it but I truly believe that this is going to be or is the most popular fall perfume for 2022 all right so the next one is Jimmy 2 vanilla love this is a boozy woody vanilla from Jimmy 2 the bottle is amazing it's really good it smells like plum with woodiness it smells similar to Anigutal Nuit et Confidences I mentioned several times before that Anigutal Nuit et Confidences smells like lemon breast tea now this one smells like if Lipton were to make a, a tea that smells like plum that's just what it smells like these two are similar if you have one you might not need the other but I truly believe that this is a, um, a really really good one it has similar DNA as Spiritus du Bleveni from Guerlain and that's why it's popular it is a classic DNA and for this video I choose uh, Jimmy Choo Vanilla Love because it's new to me but essentially you could pick Spiritus du Bleveni from Guerlain Jimmy Choo Vanilla Love or Anik Gutal Nuit at Confidences alright so the next one um, I have a sample of it after smelling a lot of sample from Pierre Goulam, I think that one of the best fall vanilla perfume is Pierre Goulam Un, Un Crime Exotic. Now this one smells like a strong cinnamon. So the notes are cinnamon, matcha Thai, star anise, gingerbread, holly, osmanthus, vanilla, tea, and sandalwood. Yeah, this one smells like cinnamon gingerbread. This one smells strongly of a cinnamon cookie like but this one doesn't have boozy this one has sandalwood this one comes across a little bit more woody let me spray it again yeah this one smells really good it smells like like cinnamon woody it's a little bit minty too it has like um, minty vibe this is perfect for fall it's like vanilla cinnamon it has the sandalwood it's just perfect this one smells really good um, as it's drying down though it gets a little bit medicinal in a way that um, the woodiness comes stronger so it could come across a little bit medicinal but this is really good I highly highly recommend this one all right so next one is from Gorilla perfume from Lush and my pick is I'm home now this this scent might be already be discontinued but you could also pick the um, cardamom coffee there's essentially similar these are the best 
um, vanilla for fall, especially when it's colder. I wore this to work recently and I received a lot of compliment. People think it smells like cookie. Some people think it smells like cinnamon. I don't smell any cinnamon. I don't know what he's talking about. But this one does smell like cookie. It smells really good. This is strong. This is potent. This is beast mode, I think. Projecting, at least to me. Um, so yeah, lush, I'm home. So this is one of the best vanilla fragrances for fall. Alright, so the next one is a recent purchase of mine. Um, I featured this in my video before because this is one of the best vanilla. This is from Epico. It's called Fanny Charnel. This one is really, really good. So I'm gonna open the packaging in front of camera. I already opened this, but I haven't taken it out from packaging. It's just a foam um, with the with the with the indentation that says Epico, and you open it like this, and then the bottle sitting like this. It's so beautiful. Um, the bottle um, looks like a a glass of liquor but okay this one you guys smells like butter vanilla it smells like essentially buttery vanilla this one smells so good it is one of the best find for this year if you haven't sampled this go sample it out this one is really hard to get by the way I had to order this on a group order from Italy from Mason de Parfum which they charge like $90 shipping. It's really ridiculous, but I'm hoping that maybe Lucky Sun will carry this soon. But this is one of the best fall vanilla fragrances. Um, I just found out about this recently because Tanya sent me a sample and this is really, really, really good. Epico Fanny Charnel. It smells like a buttery vanilla. It also reminds me a little bit of a Juicette Accident a la Vanille. If you like that, you're gonna love it. Uh, the difference is this one lasts longer, it's more projecting, whereas I'm a little bit anosmic to Juicette Accident a la Vanille. I can only smell it for the first maybe two minutes, and after that it kind of like goes away. Whereas this one, um, the butteriness and the vanilla stays longer, and then there's caramel in here too. It's really, really good. Next is a classic. I always feature this in my vanilla video just because I really truly believe that this is one of the Gus vanilla. This is Guerlain Mon Guerlain. You could get the Mon Guerlain Intense. I have the original. I finished a sample of this 5 mil and then I bought this 100 mil bottle and looks like I am maybe 40 mil down. I love this. This one smells very comforting. This is a classic. Um, it is not expensive, not that expensive. You could buy it from Macy's, you could buy it from Sephora. This one is just so good. It's Guerlain Mon Guerlain. It's vanilla, lavender, and a little bit of iris powder. Yeah, it's a classic. Mon Guerlain Mon Guerlain. So next, actually, this is the last one. I just bought this recently, not too long ago. But I feature this a lot in my channel because I truly believe that this is one of the best vanilla for 2022. Um, this is Mason Mataha Escapade Gourmand. This one smells like ice cream icing. It smells like cake icing or ice cream. Very sweet. It's very caramelly. Yeah, it smells like a caramel, really. It smells like caramel ice cream. Mason Mataha escapade gourmand really 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 good um, anyway so i know that these are the seven perfume that i recommend i love every perfume that i have in my cabinet i love vanilla i think that there's so many good vanilla um, if you want to watch more vanilla video just look for my name ollie's mom vanilla or Polly vanilla you're gonna see a lot more vanilla video these are what I think is going to be popular or is popular for 2022 fall season. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.